what kind of centrifugal pump do you need? This is a question best answered by your pump professional. Hi, I'm Doug Kriebel and will offer some suggestions for common services to help get you started. Many applications are for water and these are often handled by cast iron or cast iron bronze fitted pumps. The design could be horizontal, end suction, top discharge, vertically split case, which means the casing comes apart at a split perpendicular to the shaft. Pumps under 25 horsepower are sometimes supplied close coupled, where the motor shaft extends into the pump and functions as the pump shaft. These are compact and simple pumps. Or they may be cradle mounted with separate drive motors connected by a coupling. Sometimes small pumps are vertical inline designs. These are compact and take up less space. Larger flow rates are often handled in double suction pumps. They have impowers that have two inlets, hence double suction. They are horizontal split cases, parallel to the shaft, have bearings on both ends, so the shaft is like a simple beam, but will also have two sealing ends to either pack or mechanically seal. The double suction and power also provides axial hydraulic balance. Large flows are also handled by vertical turbine pumps. These are vertical and use line shaft driven empowers housed in bowl assemblies. These can handle flows from 100 gallon a minute to hundreds of thousands of gallons per minute. The pumps are lowered directly into sumps. This type of pump is also used to pull drinking water and water for irrigation from deep wells. High pressures can be achieved by adding more sets of bowl assemblies. We call these stages. This slide shows a comparison between horizontal and vertical pumps for large flow rates. For obtaining high pressure, two or more pumps could be used in series but it's more practical to use a single multi-stage design to achieve higher pressures. Like the vertical turbine, sets of impellers and diffusers are used to make up the stages. The workhorse of the chemical industries is the ANSI pump. This stands for American National Standards Institute. There is a specification that details the construction and design of these standardized pumps which are interchangeable between manufacturers. This means you can replace brand X pump with a brand Y pump and it will fit into your piping. They have construction features specific for handling chemicals, such as the ability for a wide range of mechanical seals, easy access to the mechanical seals and bearings, and overall, it's a heavy-duty, rugged design available in a wide range of corrosion-resistant materials. For very aggressive or hazardous or toxic materials, people like to eliminate seals altogether and use sealless pumps. This slide shows a magnetic-driven pump which has no seals. An outer magnet driven by a motor drives an inner magnet through a containment shell, which drives the impeller to pump. There are no rotating seals, but the internal bearings are lubricated by the pumpage, so it's not a good selection if you have solids in the pumpage. Pumps for pits. There are several ways to dewater a sump. A conventional line shaft driven sump pump, which has the pump immersed in the water with the motor outside the pit. Or a self priming pump, which will lift the water out of the pit while the pump sits on the floor level above or a submersible pump which has a motor suitable for immersion into the water. This pump is placed on the floor of the sump and a discharge pipe or hose leads the water out. This information is to act as a rough guide, but for complete selection advice, consult your pump professional. I know you have found this information useful, and remember, if you have any questions, we're here for you.